networks, mainframes, hardware, software, updates, internet, they're all organized and monitored for organizations by this multi-talented individual, the computer network technician. Hi, Brian. Hi, Peter. Come on in, I'll show you where I work. Great. Peter Wheelick, I'm a computer network technician. We could be doing a number of different things. We could be deploying a new workstation. We could be fixing a wireless access point, maybe replacing a printer, fixing a printer problem. Or we could be going out and meeting with another service provider that maybe does support for a Xerox machine. You come to work and you check the monitoring and reporting service that we use for any occurrences of outages overnight. And then you would take any tickets that have been left over from the other day and prioritize your work and then get busy on that. And you might have to go to site, call a customer to arrange that they're there, make sure that when you're there, you're not interrupting work that they really need to get done. So Peter, tell me what it is we're looking at right here. So this is one of the servers that we use in our business and provide off-site remote access to clients with. We've installed a faster USB card mm -hmm. that goes from USB 1 to USB 3, so the backup time that it takes now is greatly reduced, so we get backups within a reasonable period of time. Typical hours for a network technician, they vary from probably 8 till 6. If we look after the systems and manage our time correctly, then there's not a ton of overtime. Well, when I started out, we did IBM PCs that had no hard drives, just a big, huge five and a quarter inch floppy disk, no internet. And eventually internet came in with the technologies are evolving, so you have to learn about the evolution of it and how to manage that evolution and maintain the products as they evolve. I think that you need to be innovative in knowing what's out there and knowing how to deploy it. So, you know, if a client has a problem with a computer, they don't necessarily know what it is that's wrong. They give to you and you're kind of a detective, you're figuring out it's exactly. It's like a symptom. It's like a doctor, okay. like you report a symptom. So you mm -hmm. have to actually get down the root of the problem, re figure out what's going on and fix it so that it doesn't happen again. So it's really important that you, you know, you're detailed about the work you're going to do so you can get an effective solution. One of the things that I think is so great about this career is that you can work in a number of different facets. A lot of large companies and small companies, and they're all very different. So I work for a small company, and the great thing about that that I really like is I get to do lots of different jobs. Mm -hmm. You can also take your skills and education and move into a larger IT company, and there you'll be fo typically focused on one type of solution. Yeah. You can move away from the technology companies and work in corporations, and you can be an in-house corporate IT guy. And from there, you can move into a chief technology officer position. You can take computer science courses. Those are typically university degrees, but there's lots of colleges and technical institutes that you can take courses there where they give you structured training. So you learn the basic foundations of network management, A plus certification, which is basically taking computers apart, putting them together, repairing. You know, the ongoing education components is a big part because you need to continue to learn as technologies evolve. The good thing is that technology is not evolving so fast that there's a big, huge quantum leap in technology, but you should be also thinking about taking an uh, introductory course on project management, an introductory course on finance, like how does money move in a company and how to manage it and track it, right? So, Peter, would you say that this career gets the bad rap? We used to get a bad rap and everybody used to joke about being a geek, but geeks are changing. They're now technologists and they're very important people in everybody's businesses. They play a vital role in, in business success. What I really like about this, this career is it's changing all the time and it's changing in a good positive way and it's, it's, it's exciting to see that change. Well, thank you so much for showing me around today and let me learn a little bit. Good, it's great to meet you and I'll tell other people that it's a great career to be in. I will. Thanks very much and goodbye. Take care. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours.